So the last time I made a video for you guys, I said that I'd gained some weight. And I thought my weight would have been like around like 149, 150, because I was feeling the pudge. But, you know, I was still in my healthy range. I knew it. Um, but you just feel it. You feel like a bit of a bloat, you know? You feel it. So, and I only made that video like a week ago, something like that. So I just got on the scale and it's low as fuck. So let me show you. Hold on a second. I got to put you down. I'll get on and then I'll pick it up. Give me a sec. Oh, Jesus. I almost fell over. It's the last thing I need, right? All right. Hang on. One thirty four point nine. It said era because the weight was slightly different when I picked up the camera and got on versus what it was before I had the camera in my hand. So I'm one thirty nine excuse me, one thirty four point nine. I've never weighed weighed so little ever. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Now, I did have a bad day yesterday. I couldn't keep food down last night. I tried a bunch of different ways. Took Zofran a couple times. Couldn't do it. Could not keep food down last night. I wanted to. Bad. But, um, couldn't do it. it sucked. But, weight loss surgery is not easy, kids. It is not fucking easy. What's up? I'm actually still breathing. How are you? It's Janine. Today is November 6th, I believe. Monday. And decided to let you guys know I'm still breathing. I haven't made a video in a while just because I had more important things to focus on. So, you guys got pushed to the bottom of the list. I'm sorry about that, but, you know, life happens. I wanted to... Come on here and let you guys know that um, I'm still breathing and um, I've got soup, sorry. Um, so I'm still kicking and I wanted to definitely update you that I tried, you guys know that I tried those vitamin patch things from I think it was patchmd.com. I tried to use them consistently for a while. I didn't do a very good job of using them consistently. So let me just put that out there. I didn't do a good job, okay? Mm. But also, even the amount of time that they were on my body, I didn't notice any results at all. So. Having said that, I switched over to the Vitality packets. Um, they are pre um, set up for you, and you just pick which surgery you had, and she sets them up for you. So I switched over to those. I'd say it took about six weeks of using them consistently for me to start to feel a difference. And I finally feel a little bit better. I feel more normal, you know? Definitely wouldn't say that I'm, I wouldn't even say that I'm 50% how I used to be, but I feel significantly better. And that's fantastic. And I couldn't be more grateful if I tried. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that vitamins need to be take orally. And that even though it's the sucky option, because Lord knows it'd be great if we could just slap our vitamins on our skin. Um, no, swallowing them is the more effective way to go about taking your vitamins. That's how I've come to the conclusion. So, yeah. Um, Oh 
me just go over some shit. So, I went to a metabolic doctor. Uh, her name is Dr. Flynn in Jersey, Morristown, New Jersey. Mm. Great lady. Um, she did a couple studies on me. And um, long story short, aside from the water weight that I have in my legs from the lymphedema, um, because my legs are really swollen like all the time from the fucking lymphedema. It sucks. Um, aside from that, I am basically made of bone and skin right now. My excess skin. I have extremely little body fat on me and very little body muscle on me. I'm pretty much bone and skin. So she wanted to put me on <clears throat> TPN. If you're not familiar with what TPN is, TPN is when people are in the hospital and they are unconscious for various reasons and they can't be awake to eat, to, you know, chew and eat. So uh, they hook them up with a IV bag full of nutrients. That bag of nutrients is referred to as TPN. So she wanted to put me on TPN where I would basically sling a IV bag around my shoulder like a purse or something and I'd probably go through two to three bags of that a day. I would be the one to switch the bags out. They would teach me how to. And um, so I'd wear these bags um, for about two, three months on top of eating. So that's what her recommendation was when I saw her. I don't like that. I saw my bariatric surgeon, but he wasn't there that day because he had a emergency. So I had to see his fellow, which is like a fancy word for partner. Um, and they wouldn't give me a opinion until they saw my blood work. The blood work came in and it looked pretty good. Definitely looked better than what they thought it was going to look like. So I think I'm out of being deemed TPN worthy. I hope. I hope. So We'll see. I have to have an EGD on this Tuesday, so tomorrow. I have to go in Manhattan and have an EGD, which is when you swallow the barium and they look at your stomach to see if you have any strictures. Um, just because I keep vomiting. Um, for no reason, no reason. And uh, I mean, it's really inexplicable. So we'll figure that out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just stupid. It's a stupid mess. It doesn't make any goddamn sense yet. And my frustration on the whole topic is so high. I just want to punch a goddamn wall. It's really ridiculous. <sighs> Whatever. Mm. Anyway. So. Me and the kids are good. They still drive me up 
a wool. But I haven't needed to hit the booze yet, so that's good. Um, the dog still drives me crazy. What else? Um, me and Justin are fine. Oh, I just heard him play with the squeaky. I don't know what he's doing. Um, my cervical cancer is not going away. I had a procedure to have a cold burnt off my cervix. That didn't work. Um, I have to try that again. Coincidentally, about 10 days ago, I found out my mom has lung cancer. When it rains, it pours, man. Sorry I haven't done a cooking video for you, but honest to God, it's just because when I do cook, everybody's in the house, and I don't have solitude in the kitchen. Everybody's in my fucking way, you know? Even the damn dog, I'm like, I'm like nudging him out of the fucking kitchen, like, come on, man, move, you know? So I don't get solitude. So it's really hard to do a cooking video, you know? It's super hard, and I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, today I'm doing flounder. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm just deep frying flounder and uh, some cauliflower. Uh, you know, nothing major. Um, I don't think I have anything major this week. I, don't th I think it's a pretty easy week because I gotta go in Manhattan twice and that's gonna take up most of my day because that, that's like a three hour trip to get there. Um, just because of traffic. Traffic is fucking hell going to Manhattan. Oh my God. Um, so when I have some solitude I'll do a damn video. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, I really do. I know I've been getting a couple questions in my comments. Let me know how I can help you. Um, you know, some of the questions have been very vague. And I can't help vague questions easily because I don't know what you're asking for. Um, so try to be a bit more specific so I can help you more specifically. Cause like, you know, it's hard for me to be specific if you're not specific. So, you know, help me. 
I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you as soon as I can, okay? Bye.